all right so we will continue our work uh, we assigned a texture map but now we will assign a bump map to it so we'll drag this onto bump and you can see that it gets some kind of roughness double click on this go to maps that is 30 if it is 0 it is flat let us add 90 as bump and you can see that the bump value is more now we can also drag the same one into specular color then when you render it you have a nice rough texture Uh, the scene lo looks a little dull so we will make it brighter by selecting the camera and increasing the exposure value so it was 9 so 8 will be brighter so let us render at 8 so it looks a little brighter now and then we need more of the black to come onto this so if you go out and find where the bump map is this is 0.5 so if you make it 0.3 it becomes more dark so more black on top and less on white so this looks nice To render this animation what you need is render settings range or active we need 180 frames 720 by 405 and then we'll save it as an AVI okay name it chair texture we'll go to say uh, setup and we are using MPEG compressor okay there are different compressors we'll use MPEG compressor and we'll decide where we want to save it so you can find it after the rendering is done so chair and name it chair texture okay turn table And then physical camera locked and then you hit the render button and it's going to take seven and a half minutes to render this one uh, once this is done oh we did not uh, link our lights yet right so we go to 135 and this is the setup lighting setup we want so what we have to do is click on the link tool and select this and assign it to the camera select this one and assign it to the camera select this light and assign it to the camera as well so the lights will also rotate so you'll get uniform lighting okay now uh, once you save this file as a texture now we need to create the wireframe so if you go to the M key, create a standard material, two standard materials. First one, we will name it wire and second one, we will name it wire plane. Okay, so the wire one will have a wire and a dark color. The other one can be gray so what we need to do is right this one is chair we will name this chair wire right click and we will
click on the clone copy and name it chair plane okay so the chair plane is selected we will assign the chair plane must uh, material and we need to select the other one so you go here select chair wire and assign this material to it we go to render settings I'm going to disable the save file option first and hit the render button and then we will also only say single then we'll render it and you can see that the chair wire is showing from the leg but not showing So that will show the wireframe. Let us render this now. Let us try to render 24 frames because sometimes it shows the wireframe, sometimes it does not show the wireframe. So we'll show what is going on. And we will save this file as chair texture texture chair wire chair wire top tip and render it not showing the wireframe so I'll get back try to troubleshoot and get back to you on this one so in the third uh, video we will complete this part